Well, what else, what else can you do with strings other than call this equals method on them? Well, there's, there's lots of other things we can do. If I go and bring up a uh, browser window and I search on uh, Java API docs, Java API documentation, push enter here. The first link that comes up and the second link that come up, these are links to the Java documentation. The first one goes to the uh, Java 6 documentation and the second one to Java 7. Either one will be fine for what we're doing, but I guess I'll go with the, the more recent here. So I'll, I'll click on Java 7 documentation. In the upper left-hand frame, this has a listing of all of the packages that are in the Java libraries. So we're looking at the library documentation. If I scroll this down, string is in the java.lang, L-A-N-G, lang. When I click something in the upper left-hand frame, that changes the lower left-hand frame. This uh, now shows only the things that are in that package, only the classes, the interfaces, exceptions that are in that package. And so string, I'll I can click on that in the lower left-hand frame, and that changes my right-hand frame, my main window. So here's the documentation for the string class. What you'll see is that it lists here near the top, oh, just some paragraphs that talk about what a string is. It shows you how you can declare a string using uh, the, the double quotes. Um, it talks about various other things here, substring and stuff like that. But if I scroll down a little bit, we're gonna see that we have something called the fields, the constructors, and the methods that make up a string. All a summary view of things. And beneath those three, after I scroll past the method summary, there's a bunch there, then it has details, details of the fields, details of the constructors, and details, eventually here, of the methods. Somewhere down, there we go, method details. Well, there's some shortcuts at the very top of the documentation that help us jump around inside of uh, our, our document. So up on the top, it says we can jump to the summary for fields, for constructors, for methods. So I'll click on method here, and it's simply just gonna scroll me down to the method summary. Or I could go and do the same thing with the detail. I could scroll down to the method detail area, and it just zooms me down the page. And so that's helpful to be able to use those links if you're navigating around. Well, I wanna show you some methods, so I'll make my way down to the methods, and specifically, here's the equals method. This is the one we said that you can call. Rather than using double equal sign, you're safer using the equals method when comparing strings against each other. Double equal sign always compares the memory addresses, whereas equals compares the contents of the strings. And that's what it says here. Compares this string to the specified object. We're gonna talk more about objects later on, but you can pass anything in, any uh, other string, any other object actually, into this equals so it can do a comparison. Well, the word equals is actually a hyperlink, so if I click on it, it actually scrolls me down the, the page to the detail part of the, the page for this equals method. So equals returns back a Boolean, so it's gonna give us back true or false, and uh, it says compares the string to the specified object, the result is true, if and only if the argument's not null. So you can't pass in some null thing, some empty thing. Uh, you have to give it something. And it's true if the string object that represents this, uh, uh, let me say this again, the result is true uh, if the string object that represents the same sequence of characters as this object. So if both strings have the same characters, it return back true. Um, and so you can see it tells you a little bit more about what's expected to be passed in. It should pass in a string and what it returns back, true if it's equivalent, false otherwise. So there you go, there's one of the methods we have, this equals method that we can call, let me find it here so I can hide it, there we go, on string. Again, the actual syntax of it, you take one string object, or string variable, as we've been saying, you put a period afterwards, and then you type in the name of the method you wanna call. In this case, the method required us to pass something in, so inside the parentheses for it, we type in the second thing, the, the, the other variable we're, we're comparing against. So looking at this documentation, what might we use if we didn't care whether the, the two strings 
we're using capital letters or not. Maybe, I, maybe the string Jamie with all caps should be equal to Jamie with all lowercase. What method might we use for that? Just given what you can see right now uh, here inside the documentation. All right, I'll give away the answer now. So pause if you don't know just yet, if you're still studying all these uh, methods I'm showing. Notice there's an equals ignore case. So we can use that if we don't care about capitalization. Let's demonstrate real quick. So right now, maybe uh, we'll have Jamie, and I'll do all caps Jamie. And instead of calling these letter one, I'll say name one and name two. And uh, I'm going to omit the double equal sign. We're just going to zoom in on working with the equals method here. And so the question is, does name one equal name two? Is this true or false? I run it through, false. They're not the same because one has all caps, the other doesn't. Well, if we instead called equals ignore case, so add that ignore, ignore case in, now it's going to compare if they're the same uh, as each other, but ignoring any kind of capitalization. Uh, one thing to note here, I'm hovering my mouse over equals ignore case, and Eclipse gives me the detailed section of the documentation for this method. So instead of having to step over to those docs, you could maybe just use Eclipse right here to give you the hints that you need. And so let's go ahead and run this. I hadn't saved it, so pop that up. True, they are now the same because they're equal as long as you're ignoring the, the case, uh, uh, the capitalization. Oh, and there's lots of other methods. So we just saw those two, but there's another method here, ends with. You can see, does this string end with a particular suffix, true or false? And I'm just gonna kind of pick through and just uh, uh, point out some here or there. Uh, let me find another one here. Length. How many characters? What is the length of the string? How long is it? I'll show you length real quick here. So I can do another sys out control space, type name one, that's my variable, dot. And the minute I type in the dot, it gives me a whole set of choices as to what I might want to use. Uh, and I'm gonna type dot L for length and notice Everything that starts with an L comes up, and I'll just arrow down and push enter, and it types in the word length for me. It keeps me from having to have any typos. And so I run that, and it's five characters long. That's the length. Uh, length returns back an int, a number, whereas equals return back a Boolean, a true or false. If I look down here, there's another one starts with. We saw ends with. You can also check if one string starts with another. Here's a substring method that's interesting. Um, Here's a method where you can convert a string to all capital letters. I'm sure there's one, yep, to all lowercase letters. Trim, if a string has extra trailing white space, it'll take that off. And so string has lots of methods that you can call to, to work with it, to maybe ask it about itself or find out how it compares to other things. Um, great, great object, lots of opportunities to work with it right here inside of uh, the Java libraries. Again, to get to these Java libraries, what I did is I went out just to Google and I searched on, see if I hit back enough times, Java API docs. On your systems, it sure wouldn't hurt for you to do the same search. Maybe find, uh, and in my case, I did the Java 7 docs, and maybe you want to bookmark these. I, I think I'm going to. I'll put my little star in Firefox so it uh, bookmarks this page. String was in the Java lang package in the upper left hand frame. Let me find java.lang, and then lower left-hand frame, we had clicked on string in order to get the, the main frame filled in.